man, we in Chicago, Kanye, mm. Donald Trump. Mm. He, man, so let, let me just say, I rewound the tape. If you take the Superman and the cape out of it, is there a path forward? Is there a way that we can, that Kanye can do like you did with Martha Stewart and, you know, I Batman know. I, Robin? I, I think he don't need to be the one speaking on behalf of us because he don't have his mind right and he don't have the right presentation. And nobody can speak for black people but black people. So that means we don't have a leader. We don't have nobody who speaks for everybody's point of view or opinion. So the only thing he can do is speak on some points that are valid, that make people feel like he's speaking for us, which is prison reform and freeing Larry Hoover. Those were two points that I felt like Chicago could really support him on. Okay. But that other things that he was talking about just didn't make no sense. And it's like it got lost in the shuffle because it's like you forget about what you're really here for. If you're sitting in front of this man who has the power to make things happen, there should be some people in there that are saying some things that are going to affect him and make him want to make things happen. As you see, right after the interview, Donald Trump went right back to doing his same bullshit the next day and, and being the, the asshole as he was. And it's like that meeting was nothing but a publicity stunt for him to try to get some black voters. And niggas is not voting for you, nigga. I don't give a fuck what you say. <laughs> Kanye ain't the nigga to get us to follow, nigga. He's the wrong nigga. We not following him nowhere. Snoop. I feel Chicago like Chicago niggas ain't even following that nigga. Snoop. So on that note, I was just thinking about this, man. LA There's, niggas go with me anyway. <laughs> I saw out in the hallway, yeah, man. You got some up. big, yeah, some big ride. fellas. They roll with me. I mean, no matter where you're from around the globe, if you're from California, you riding with Snoop Dogg. But Snoop Dogg ain't going to take you down no dark alley. And if Snoop Dogg needs some help, there's going to be somebody strong enough in his family or his friends that's going to snatch him up by the collar and say, nigga, you acting a fool right now. You making us look bad. Sit your ass down and get off that TV till you get you some help and stop talking and start listening. Man, like, that's what it need to be. And, you know, 47 year old grown man, right. we understand that. We understand the demographics of you got kids. See, his kids is young. Right. My kids is grown. OK. They see everything I do. They ask me about what I do. When your kids get to that age, you got to start watching your steps. When they babies, you can hide stuff and move it around and put on some Netflix and some cartoons and they won't really know what's happening. But when they get to the age where they start asking you questions and you got to be more accountable.